excuse my appearance. I was just coming back from the store. I had to get Max's gift and some gift wrapped. You know, I gotta, you know, I gotta take care of your friends during the holidays. You know, guys, look out for your friends. This is a stressful time, Christmas. You know, what can you do? But I made sure I got him something nice that he's really gonna enjoy. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, now I just wanted to bring good relations to the community in this regard and uh, hash out a couple things, so to speak. So basically, for Max, he uh, he came for Batman in a negative way, which is actually kind of surprising, being that Batman and Bobby was some of his biggest supporters, from what I understand. Which was I was you know kind of surprised to see that myself, and. Um, at the most, I've seen Batman just, you know, act very, you know, bipartisan. He said very, you know, nothing that was so outlandish and so, you know, it was just stuff that to bring good relations. I don't know why Max took it in that light, but Max is a very sensitive guy for that matter, you know. And uh, Max takes things the wrong way. He, he reads into things too much. He takes things too personal. He gets emotional. He's one of those beta males, which I understand. You know, not, not a lot of guys get raised in, you know, two-parent houses. He was probably raised by his mom for most of his life. Shit like that. You know, that affects their mind state, the estrogen. You know, what can you do? So, uh, I just wanted to clarify. So, Max, I, I think you should apologize to Batman for the most part. And uh, he's always been in your corner. And for him to just say... You know, just to tell you the truth, for your peace of mind, and uh, I think I think that's a perfectly acceptable thing to do, and uh, as an adult in society, Max, you gotta respect his opinion. Now, I want to see an apology video to Batman, but uh, Max, all right, don't fuck around no more. <laughs>